Hi. What's going on? It's cold. It's cold? Yeah. Well, how about just turn on the uh, the heat? We got the heat here. Got just tur it turn on the heat. Work. It doesn't work. No. What what do you mean? It doesn't work. It doesn't work? No. The heat doesn't work? No. Not at all. Oh no. Well, <laughs> sounds like we got a problem. Let me check, okay? Is. Yep, definitely. I'm gonna have to fix the heat. <laughs> okay. So I need to disconnect two hoses that are connected to the heater core. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna connect to those with a garden hose and <clears throat> put just a little bit of water pressure in it and then uh, we'll see what happens we'll see if the heater core is clogged or not and we'll see what the problem is and slowly slowly kind of like uh, understand why uh, the heat doesn't work so usually the problem is that basically the coolant doesn't circulate uh, through the heater core that is in the vehicle there is two ways to do it the short way or the long way short way is kind of like to keep the, everything still intact and to disconnect the hoses and to try to get some pressure over there very low pressure and see if we can clean it or um, unblock that, that area that clog the long way is to just completely take off the heater core off of its location and then clean it and do it that way or completely replace it with a new one, which we might have to do. But we'll start with the, um, the easy work and then we'll, uh, we'll see if we can resolve it or not. We're gonna start from loosening up the uh, two screws here, right down here. And the other one is right here. And that way we're gonna be able to disconnect those two hoses. It's so cool, so there is a little note here. Another one of those notes, which is really, really cool. And so this is probably when they uh, performed that job here. It's pretty cool. Tighten this thing so it doesn't fall and then being a pain to um, put back in. Alright. So I guess we still had a little bit more pressure. <laughs> Just uh, make sure that you um just wait a little bit longer for the temperature to go down because this is what just happened which is okay not a big deal but it's not really hot but it's um warm enough to um just burst out of there like this so what i would do is just make sure you release that pressure um, somehow but one of them is out and time to get the second one out So here's what we got. Lost a little bit of coolant here. 
Nothing too serious. It was just a little bit uh, pressure still in the system. Yeah, so just try to relieve the pressure. Um, don't try, just relieve the pressure before you open these two lines. So it won't look like, <laughs> like this. So I got this, basically uh, this will connect to the uh, hoses and into a garden hose right here. And I can also, after that, connect it to the air compressor to um, just clear the system. But basically that's the uh, part. And, and I'll include it, I'll include it in the description. Very simple, guys, it's, I mean, we got this from like Ace, I think, I can't remember, but pretty simple. All right, all clean. <laughs> So just a reminder guys, just uh, <laughs> make sure before you take those um, lines out, wait until the engine is cold and you relieve the pressure. But you know, uh, it's not my uh, everyday job and actually it's the first time I'm doing this. So it's all uh, learning experience. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I am gonna connect the um, hose to the line and I'm gonna send water all the way to here where that shot off is and um, it's gonna hopefully clear some of the sediment and debris or whatever is in there inside the um, heater core and we'll send it back through here and back into this line and I'm gonna try to put a clear uh, bottle there so we can see what comes out but yeah we'll do that and then after we're done I'm just gonna uh, clear the water out um, with uh, my um, air compressor so I don't have some water there in the system and then connect everything in and uh, let the uh, let the coolant flow back in there and see if it's solved the problem because right now we are completely uh, not uh, getting any heat or anything from the heater core so we'll see I got the hose connected to this so I have like a little shot off here so I can somewhat control what's going on with the pressure and I don't want to put too much pressure pressure in there so I won't cause any damage but uh, basically I'm gonna connect that and start and then I'm gonna connect it in reverse so I can agitate some of the debris as well and make sure it cleans probably then connect back to the main line in and just make sure that everything is out so I'm gonna start with getting this line off whoop and still got some more pressure that's crazy so we got both of the lines off right now and as you can see there's coolant coming off of that a lot of coolant decided to uh, take this hose out so i'm trying to separate it right here i'm just holding it from one side and i'm just pulling it with the other one got it disconnected they are connected between them but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now connect the hose right here Let's see if I can disconnect that one in the middle I'm trying to get this piece here in between the two lines. There is this bolt that it's like uh, holding both of those together. I am trying to get them out so I can get the, the uh, lower line. Um, into that clear bottle so I'll be able to see what's coming out. And 
now we got this guy out, which is the upper line. Uh, also, what I did, you can't really see it from here, but what I did, I put a glove with a zip tie down there to cover that hole. Because I don't I don't really want water to go in um, into the block just because it might get cold. So I want to clear the water out. But everything here is pretty much ready to go. This is connected. Gonna have to check what's the temperature we're gonna get to tonight. So I don't have any issues with um, water freezing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get it all ready for tonight. And then tomorrow I'm gonna actually flush the system. So that way I have more of um, control of what's going on in case that it's gonna freeze. I am gonna clear the water with the air compressor, but you know what, we always there is always a little bit of water in and I don't wanna take the risk. So I just prefer to get it into the system and then flush the whole system and clean it. So um, it's all clean. Guys, just uh, another friendly reminder. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this, so please don't uh, just completely slaughter me with your <laughs> comments. Um, trying to do my best here. what it is that's it the bottle is gonna be right here so I'll be able to see what comes out so as much as I want to do it tonight um, it looks like it's gonna freeze tonight it's gonna go below 32 and I don't want to take the risk of having some uh, water in the heater core so I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow to do it and then I can flash the system and make sure there is no uh, water in it anyway See you soon. But like I said, it's gonna freeze tonight. I loosened this clamp here and I'm just gonna take it off for tonight so I can close the hood. So I got everything ready for tomorrow. Unfortunately, our setup here right now kind of like temporary because we are in between, um, between houses and living in, uh, in our RV. So everything is kind of like crazy and I got to do all of this work um, outside. Um, but um, I'll see you tomorrow. This is uh, day two. We are connected to the water here. The bottle is right here. I'll show it in a minute. And we are ready to, we're ready to roll. So let's see what happens. That's a good sign. Looks like nothing is moving in. A very good sign because the shut off is off. So let's turn it on. See what's going on. Okay. Let's fill it up. There we go. Starting to come out here. That's a good sign. Starting very, very slow. All right, let's stop here and see. Ooh. Hey guys, you can't see it, but there is a bunch of stuff underneath it's actually completely black underneath so I'm gonna keep this one all right so first time looks like um, first batch was looks like it was dirty some pieces in it and 
and there is more coming out. I'm gonna have to unfortunately do it multiple times. But you can kind of like see all that stuff. I mean, guys, look at this. I'm gonna keep doing it and see what happens. Looks like it's getting clear. So I'm gonna t let it flow for a few minutes. See what happens next. So guys, what I did over there was I actually turned off and on the uh, lever over there. I pulled it off and on. They're, they're different positions and actually it looks like the um, it actually looks like everything is okay with the um, valve right here this guy because whenever I shut it off it did actually shut off so I'm let it go looks like it's clear let's see Yeah, looks like it's almost completely clear. Build a little bit pressure, but yeah, you can see this is looks like it's very clear. This is good, this is exactly what, what we want. We want it to be clear. And it builds the pressure a little bit. Let's see what comes out. I do see some stuff coming out when it builds pressure. But overall, the cooling was great. Not dirty at all. I'm gonna increase the pressure a little bit more. All right, let's try again. Yeah, so I increased the pressure. It looks like more stuff is coming out. Now I'm just gonna switch it to the other line and actually see what comes out the other way around. Let the pressure go. I'm just gonna change those sides. Let's start with taking this off. We got our line open here and let's see if I can connect that guy all right 
now. Put it here. So we're going the other way around, guys. I'm going to try to go from basically turn the outlet into an inlet. So the inline is going to be the out. So basically I connected the return now into the supply or the supply into the return and it's going to come back through that valve and we'll see what's coming out. Let me turn on the water. I must say I'm happy with this. I um, feel like I can just disconnect and reconnect everything and um, see what happens. But right now, I got this out of it. Let's just uh, disconnect and put everything back together. Uh, I'm gonna clear it with air before I put it back together. So I got all of the uh, hose connections out and I'm going to connect my air hose fitting right here and then connect it into the line and get some of that water out or all of it gently. I got my air compressor here connected to the line so I can control it as I need to. And I'm going to connect it straight into this guy right here. gonna come out of this hose that is the supply this is the return so got my my hair attached to it let's turn on the compressor and let's see what happens so the line is currently open so we're gonna start yep Woo. So definitely water came out, which is good. Hmm. 
So I'm just letting it build some pressure, but I really don't want to put a lot of pressure in it. So I'm trying to, as much as I can, trying to control it. Well, it looks like it cleared the line, which is good. And that's what I wanted. It looks like we are ready to go. Looks like the line is clear. And I'm going to take this, this feeding off so we can put everything back together. And, and then to the next stage here. Connect these guys next and put everything back together and that's it. And hopefully that solved the problem. You guys, if you remember, I put right down there, nope, it's down there. I put the glove with zip tie, so I didn't want all the water to go in. So I'm just gonna get take that off. I'm very happy with the color of the uh, coolant. It was not rusted or anything like that. I'm very happy with that. But um, anyway, I wanted to cover that lower one exactly because of this reason. Because when I opened the lines, a bunch of coolant and water went towards that direction. I didn't want it to get in. So my plan after this uh, is to actually flush the whole system and then I'm gonna fill it up with new coolant and that's it. Figured if I'm already doing that, if I'm already getting all that heater core stuff uh, cooling out, why not just clear the whole system? And I'm gonna do that next. Everything is tight and I am satisfied. I think we're good to go. What I'm gonna do next, make sure this is open, the cap, which anyway, I think I'm gonna get a new cap at some point. This seal is kind of like, it's cracked a little bit, I don't want it, but make sure it's open so all of whatever left in the system will actually drain out. All right, let's go underneath and drain it. All right, guys, this is a recap for the heater core uh, flush or cleanup however uh, you guys want to call it um, so here is what I did so obviously uh, you guys have seen everything on the video but basically um, I, I cleared the, the heater core um, found some uh, little rocks not sure if it was um, deposit of like calcium or, or corrosion deposits or anything like that but um, found some little stones um, cleared up a lot of stuff here I don't know if you can see it but I mean this is, this is pretty bad um, but that was the first one uh, first flush uh, from the heater core anyway did that 
Uh, and next, we are going to um, proceed to our next project, which is changing the coolant fluid in the cooling system. Uh, yeah, I wanted to get to get into it pretty quick because it's getting cool up, up here, and uh, and I just don't want things to start uh, freezing on me. Um, and just wanted to get to it. So, uh, like I said, it's been good. It's, it was, I feel very good about um, doing that cleanup for the heater core. Uh, hopefully now I'll get some heat in the cabin uh, before we didn't get any heat at all. Uh, and I am looking forward to uh, flushing next the uh, antifreeze or the, basically flushing the cooling system for the Humvee uh, because um, last time it was done in 09, which is about like 12 years ago. So anyway, um, I learned a lot. It was my first time doing it. Uh, and um, I've seen how it's done before, but I've never seen it done on a Humvee. So that was all first for me. Obviously, guys, there is, um, I don't know, dozens of ways to do it, and everybody can uh, just do it the way, the way they, they choose to do it. Um, but basically, guys, uh, I chose to do it that way. Um, you know, I'm sure that, that some people uh, think it was the right way to do it. Some people think it was the wrong way to do it. But I am um, just wanted to get it done uh, correctly. And from what I gathered, uh, from the information I gathered online, that was pretty much the, the right way to do it. Um, <clears throat> I did use a filter for the water. So uh, some people I know, they use distilled water. There is like a dozen ways to do it. I don't know. I, I did it with a filter, uh, RV filter. And also I'm getting everything um, uh, very quickly done. So I didn't want to take the time and have everything sits there, the, the water, uh, so it won't start to, to uh, develop some corrosion or anything like that you know, with hard water or anything. So anyway, I did it quickly and um, got everything done. Uh, just, just guys, one thing I can mention as, uh, as just what I learned is uh, could be some pressure in the system. So I did relieve the pressure, um, but um, probably didn't didn't really do it uh, all the way right and some pressure came out I mean you you probably saw it in the video it was funny uh, but I was just glad that it didn't get all over the, the place and uh, I was able to uh, just clean it up again guys if you're dealing with antifreeze just make sure that you collect it uh, properly and, and dispose of it uh, because these things are, are poisonous to the environment and animals and uh, from what I understand it is sweet so animals will come and try to drink and it probably will kill them so just make sure that you do it right I was surprised when everything just um, uh, just um, started to flow out of the uh, system for for like a few seconds but um, I was I had everything underneath so I managed to catch all of it and uh, not to, to have it all over the place uh, again this is not the ideal conditions here as we are in between right now um, looking for land and at the same time uh, just staying here uh, in the campground so uh, yeah not, not the ideal conditions but you know what I wanted to get it done and I'm excited and I love working on my Humvee and also I wanted to um, to get done everything so the Humvee will be ready to get on the road once I'm getting the um, license plate for it. So anyway, you guys, again, um, do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. I'm not a, a professional. I don't do it every day. Um, and, but this is just another point of view uh, to show you guys uh, how I did it. So uh, that's a recap for heater core to get back the heat in the cabin. Hopefully that will help. And next we're moving into our next project, which is changing the coolant in the system. And one more thing, um, please subscribe. If you like the videos, please support us and, and subscribe to our channel. And we are um, very glad and happy to share our experiences and, and solve problems. 
and um, it really really uh, helps if we get the support and uh, and actually help people to uh, get their project done thank you so much please subscribe please like it and we'll see you on the next one